Hi there, hope you have a fantastic day today. This lesson, I'm going to teach you how to find the equations of a circle. So let's go straight into it. So let's say we have a circle. The center is not at origin. So let's say the center is here. Let's say this is the x value is a and this is b for instance. So the center of this is a, b. And let's say this is from here to here, of course, is the radius. So let's this point here is a variable point, so which is x and y. If I connect these together to so form a triangle triangle, so we have a triangle here, and this is the, the radius. Now, to find the radius, so we know that this distance here is equal to y minus b. So this one here is y minus b to get the distance. And to find this distance here, so we know that because this one here is x. So the distance from here to here is from here to here, which is x minus a. Now from Pythagoras theorem, so we know that x minus a squared plus y minus b squared is equal to the hypotenuse square, which is r squared. So this is the rule for this circle here, which is the center of a and b, and the radius is r. So, so let me write this down. The center is a, b, and the radius is r. So let's say I have a center of a circle, which is 2, 1, and the radius is, let's say, 3. So therefore, the equations for this circle here is x minus 2 squared plus y minus 1 squared is equal to r squared, which is 3 squared is 9. So there you go. So we can use this rule, but rather than try to remember this rule. So let's move one step back. So remember, if we have a center of 0, 0, and the radius is r, so the general rule for this is x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared, right? That is, this is the original circle. So if we have the center, let's say negative 2, 1 and the radius is equal to square root of 2. So now from the center, 0, 0 now becomes negative 2, 1. So this means x. Now instead of x squared, it becomes plus 2 because it moved two units to the left. So hor horizontally for the x value. Okay, so move two units to the left. That means you plus 2, all square, of course. And plus, now instead of plus y squared, now y is 0 here, now it moves 1 unit up. So therefore, instead of y squared, it becomes minus 1 or square. So inside a bracket is opposite, okay? If it move 1 up, we minus 1. If it move 2 down, we plus 2 for the y, okay? For the x horizontally, same rule apply. If it move 5 unit to the left, we need to plus 5. If it moves two unit to the right, we minus two, okay? And the radius square, which is root two square is two. So let's have another one. So let's say we have a center of minus three, minus seven. And the radius, let's say square root of five. So we remember the general rule, the basic rule for this is x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. So now, for the horizontal, for x value, so 0 now become minus 3. So it moved 3 to the left. So therefore, this becomes x plus 3 all square. And plus, now y square, instead of y square now, it's moved 7 unit down. So therefore, we plus 7. So y plus 7. So root 5 square is 5. So let, let's say if we have a center, let's say 0, let's say 2 here, and the radius is 1. 
Remember the original one is x squared plus y squared equal r squared. For x value, it doesn't move, right? Because still at zero. So therefore, this is x squared plus now y squared. This times because it's the circle move two unit up. So therefore, we go y minus two. Of course, we square that. And then the radius square, one square is one. So we just write one. Let's do one more. Okay. So let's say we have a center of this is minus one, five. And the radius is square root of seven, for instance. So the equation for this is, remember, we have x squared plus y squared equal r squared. But in this case, the, it's horizontally, it moved one unit to the left. So instead of x squared, we write x plus 1 all square. So x plus 1 all square. And original circle is y square. But in this case, it moved 5 units up. So therefore, we have y minus 5 all square. So y minus 5 all square and equal the radius squares. The radius for this one is root 7. So we square that to give me 7. There you go. This is the circle with the center of negative 1, 5. And this radius is square root of 7. Now, please pause the video and try this one yourself. Hi, I'm back. How do you go? So let me go through it with you. So first one. So remember... The general rule is x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. So the center is 0, 0. And the radius is r, right, for general rule. So now, in this case, because we have x plus 1 all squared. So inside a bracket, plus 1, it means it moved 1 unit to the left. So therefore, the center for this circle here is negative 1. And for y, for the y value... Because y minus 1 square. So in another word, it's actually moved 1 unit up. So therefore, the center for this is 1 for y value. So the center is negative 1, 1. And this one is the r square. Now remember, r square is equal to 25. So therefore, square root of 25 is 5. So this is it. So the center is negative 1, 1. And the radius is? 5. Now, next one. So, x squared, remember again, x squared plus y squared equal r squared. Just remember that for me, okay? So, now x squared, so it doesn't do anything. So, the center for the x value is still 0. Now, for y value, because it's y plus 3 squared, that means because it plus 3 inside, that means it moved down 3 units, okay, from the origin. So, which is minus 3. And the radius r squared is equal to 4. So, therefore, r must be square root of 4 is equal to 2. So, therefore, the radius is equal to 2. Now, this one here. We have x minus 4 all square and y minus 5 all square is equal to 7. So, the center for this is because inside bracket x minus 4. So what that means? It moved 4 unit to the right. So that means the center for x is 4. And for y value, because y minus 5, that means it moved up 5 units. Because minus 5, it moved up 5 units. Remember for me, please. So it's 5. And the radius is r square is equal to 7. So therefore, we square root both sides. So, which is r is equal to root 7. There you go. I hope you got all of them correct. Please pause the video and try this one yourself. Hi, I'm back. So, let's go through this together. So, we know that the general rule for this is x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. So, this time... Rather than the center 0, 0, so the center now is 2, 3. 
So for x value, it moved actually moved two unit to the right. So therefore, instead of x square, we go x minus two or square. Okay. So x minus two or square. We add instead of y square because it's not zero anymore for y value. It's actually moved up three units. So therefore, instead of y square, it becomes y minus three square. So y minus three or square and equal the radius because the radius is five. We square five is 25. There you go. Now, second one. So we know that x square plus y square equal r square, right? Now for the x, the center is still zero for x. So therefore, it's still x square. And then we add. So instead of plus y square, because the y value is actually moved up one unit. So instead of y square, now it becomes y minus one square. Okay. So y minus one or square and equal the radius square. So the radius is two. So we square two is equal to four. So the equations for this is x square plus y minus one all square is equal to four. Now last one. So we know that x square plus y square is equal to r square. So rather than the center zero zero, now the center is negative three, negative four. So x value, it moved three units to the left. So now instead of x square, it becomes x plus three all square. So x plus three all square and plus now instead of plus y square, because the y value is moved down four units. So therefore we plus four. So which is y plus four all square now equal radius square. So we know the radius of this is one and a half. Of course you square this. You can just use calculator. Otherwise, one and a half is equal to three over two. We square that. So that will give me nine over four. So nine over four, which is equal to two and a quarter. So you can write two and a quarter or nine over four. Doesn't really matter. So just write two and a quarter or 2.25. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.